Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I know most of you know that, so we'll say it together. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And what a glorious day. We serve a God that does not lack. Who was in the rain yesterday? Look at today, huh? For rally day, right? So we've come out today to rally community and rally friendship and rally connection. But more importantly, we want to rally Jesus. Amen? Amen. He's given. Amen. 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 I'm Pastor Richard. I'm the pastor and the executive director of Pivot Ministries. Most of you guys know who we are. Uh, but for those who are not familiar with Pivot, we are a residential, faith-based, Bible-based, Christ-centered, did I say Christ-centered? <laughs> Recovery uh, facility in Bridgeport. Um, it's a nine-month residential program. It's a space of healing, it's a space of love, it's a space of compassion, it's a space where we meet Jesus. I myself came to that program 16 years ago, all the way from Maryland, mind you, where it's warm. Yeah, that was my hesitation to come into Connecticut. It's cold up there is what I told the counselor, but I made it up and thank God I did. It's a place where I found new life in Christ. Uh, our foundation scripture is, if any man is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So we all walk in that, not just the people of men. We all walk in that. Every one of us here, here who are in Christ Jesus, we are new creations in Christ. The old has passed away. The old has come. So we just want to lift up Jesus. I want to pray for us. I want to turn it over to Joe, and we'll take it away. All right, let's pray. Eternal God, we recognize and declare you king this morning. We recognize your expression of love over us as we connect one to another this morning on this rally day at FCC. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful sunshine and the brisk air and just the fresh wind, Lord God, you never lack. So as we connect one to another, we invite your holy presence to fill this space. Let us uh, remove anything that would hinder us from experiencing the fullness of your presence on this day. Lead us, guide us, fill us anew. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Brother Joe. Uh -huh. All right, let's do it. Come on, brothers. Come on, y'all ain't spectators. Y'all gotta work.
Oh, man, my name is Jacob um, Redway. Um, I'm a graduate of the, of the program. I'm currently still there. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Definitely, uh, he deserves a little glory. Um, just to make it brief, I myself was just like pastor. I came in from Georgia <laughs> to good old Connecticut. Um, a lot of miles from my family, but I don't regret the decision at all. I thank God for Pivot being the vehicle that God used to put my life back on track. Um, I went to Georgia last week to see my celebrate my daughter's birthday, which that's that's an amazing in itself because of my addiction and the way my lived my life. Me and her relationship was turmoil. And um, her mother called me and said, listen, uh, Fia wants you to come down for her, her birthday. And I said, okay. And that first wasn't the idea for me, but my wife said she was, she started to cry. Now mind you, she's 19 years old. <laughs> and I said to myself, what is she crying for? She's 19. But then the thought of, hey, that, that's how much our relationship has grown. <laughs> And I thank God for him making me a new creation of him in Christ that our relationship is to that point that she missed me that much. So I went down and we had a great time. And I, and I seen a friend of mine, he never understood why I left Georgia. Um, and he wanted to get with me. And I walk into his, his kitchen and he looks at me and he goes, man, you're radiant. Hallelujah, Amen. right? And, and, and I thought it was a strange statement, but the, the scripture comes to my mind, said, let your light so shine before man that they see him. So I know that God is doing the work in me. And I thank God for the opportunity that Pivot has allowed me to, to start that journey. I thank God for everything. I thank God for destruction that God, um, that pivot has because I carry that with me. The morning devotions, the prayer time have to continue because as I continue with it, God's doing an amazing thing. With that, I'll pass. Y'all have fun. All right, all right. You got me over there in tears, amen. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. That's good. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise. Hallelujah. Lord has brought 
is good to, to me Words to keep right my home Secure He will My shield And portion me As long as life and do Joseph Bonaparte, and um, I thank God for being here today. I thank God for this choir. Amen. Sound like we've been together forever. <laughs> and we have, basically, <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Different faces, but same church. Amen? Hallelujah. And I just thank God because he's doing great things in all of our lives. As we are gathered here today for Rally Day. And, um, and just to lift up the name of God in praise. That's, that gives me the greatest joy. Amen? Amen? Singing praises to his name. He created me for that. As well as Sister Kathleen and all other people. Amen? He created us for that. And I thank God for that. And I just want to say I'm having a great day. Sun is shining. It was raining yesterday and it still was a great day. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. How you doing, Chuck? His name is Gary, but every time I see him, I want to call him Chuck. I don't know why. <laughs> amen. Amen. Next time. Come on, give the Lord a hand, pray.
Two dogs here, so I was a lot of confusion. But um, 
I, thank you. I, I, I'm just a little past halfway through. Um, it's a nine month program, as Pastor said, and I'm at five and a half, five and a half months or so. Amen. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been struggling. Alcohol's been a problem in my life for about 45 years. And I go for years of sobriety, and life gets good, and relationships get good, and finances, and careers, and then something happens that I just have trouble coping with, and I develop this habit now of turning to alcohol. And once I start, there's like a switch that turns on, and I can't stop, unless I go to the hospital, or some other kind of intervention. And it's just been over and over and over. And, uh, so I was lying in the hospital, you know, after I relapsed a few months ago, and I didn't know where to go. And I called my pastor, and he said, we have a relationship with Pivot Ministries. And so I called Pivot. to change, remain to heal, and depart to serve. And that's my intention. I've come to change and I'm healing now. In a few more months, I'll depart to serve in some way. And I'm starting to make plans for that. And we have people in place to help us make these plans. It's an amazing program. For nine months, we, don't, we just don't sit around and meet with people or look at each other. There's like 23 different programs Classes, everything from Bible study to finances to finding a job to rebuilding your credit to I can't even think of them all. You know, this is not just a, a halfway house. It's a program of recovery that I am so grateful for. I'm so grateful for. So I'm grateful to be here too. Thank you. y'all doing out there? Y'all all right, everybody? Everybody. Hallelujah.
town of New Milford, where we have Candlewood Lake there, so maybe it's more beautiful than this, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, hi, um, my name is Douglas, and I was um, born in Waterbury, Connecticut, and um, you know, when I was five years old, I was sitting in front of the TV set, and Billy Graham was preaching, and I said yes to the message of how you can get to heaven only through the through the blood of the cross. I nodded my head and I heard God speak to me. He came in, he said, I'm coming into your heart now to love you and protect you. And so God protected me all my early years. I was a wild middle child. I um, always wanted to prove myself because I was the middle child and I had a very traumatic alcoholic family, you know. I had a, a father who was an alcoholic and stepfather was an alcoholic. So I had a lot of troubles in my life, but God never left me and always carried me like you carried Moses as I was a basket case, Moses was a basket case. You know? So good. You know? But you know? Hallelujah. But you know, God carried me along this journey every step of the way. Um, so as a um, teenager, I, I sold wild oats. I got into all kinds of drugs, LSD, pot, you name it. I was into all kinds of drugs trying to fill that void, but my mother had gotten saved, and I had forgotten that I was saved as a child. You know, God was far from me, but my mother kept praying for me. She had a prayer meeting in her kitchen, 
every week with a bunch of women and they prayed fervently for me. And one night, I was like 23 years old, I drove home from a bar and I fell asleep at the wheel and my car tumbled down off of Route 67 between Bridgewater and Roxbury, about 40 feet down, landed upside down and I did not have a seatbelt on. I woke up upside down in the car to find gravity and my head didn't even hit the windshield. And that was God. I shook my set, I shook my head and I said, what the heck is going on here? But God had his hand on my life, you know. And soon after that, I got re-saved. I went to a local church and found Jesus Christ. And I fell in love with God, you know. Amen. But, you know, but then circumstances happened where I started chasing money. I served God for many years. I stopped following God and I became a prodigal son once again. And I found myself... Um, six months ago, I was in the Walmart parking lot, living in my car, doing cocaine and alcohol every day for months on end. And I was torn up. And I said, that's it. i got to get right with God again. So I said, i, I got to go to church. It was Sunday morning. So I drove to New, um, Bethel, Newtown Line, somewhere around there. It was a place called Rescue Church. It was a brilliant, resilient church. I wanted to go there because I didn't want anybody to see me that knew me. I was that bad. And I came in and I sat down and I didn't hear, understand any of what they were saying. It was all in Brazilian. But three quarters of the way through the service, this elder walks up to me and starts praying over me. And he says, God is speaking to me about you. And you, this is not who you really are. God has something for you. This is not you. And he started praying deliverance over me. Amen. And at the altar, I was weeping, just so broken. And he... And he said, he had a conversation with me. He said, I know a place where you could go. It's a place called Pivot in, in Bridgeport. He called Pastor Richard, and they, Pastor Richard talked to me on the phone. And within two hours, I was in Pivot Ministry. Hallelujah. Same day. Amen. And I will not regret it. Since I've been to Pivot, I pressed into God every day because I was desperate. I had the gift of desperation, you know, to get back, what restore what... The, Satan had stolen out of my life, man. And God has restored the joy of the Lord down in here. I have the joy of the Lord every day. I have the Holy Spirit burning in me, groaning in me. Every manifestation you could think. Yeah, he really does. does. He really, really does. Yeah. Because I wanted it. I wanted to be happy, pray myself happy, you know, and be happy in Christ. Be happy in the kingdom. And, and you know, it says, that ask, seek, and knock, and the door will be open to you. For what man, if you ask for bread, and how much more will your father give you the Holy Spirit to those that ask him, you know? Amen. So God bless you and thank you. Amen. Because of you. 
I think y'all know that song by heart now, man. Eh? Hallelujah. Let's hear it for Pivot Ministries. Wow. We love having your joy with us. We love having your joy with us. Doug and Doug. <laughs> so much joy. Once again, we welcome you to uh, First Congregational Church in Richfield. As you came in, you probably noticed our signs, Love Builds Bridges. Uh, that's our theme again for this year. And one of the things that you do is remind us of how God's love builds bridges in your lives uh, to transformation, to new life, to new health, and to serve again. And so I'm going to invite Jerry and uh, Sasha, who are members of our Mission team, and they have a gift for you. Pastor Richard, just a small token of our ongoing relationship with Pivot Ministries. We love you guys. We love it when you come. We love to visit you when we, when we can. And uh, our relationship is long and deep and will continue for many years ahead. And before I hand you this check, I just want to say to everybody, Get your raffle ticket. And Amen. West Lane. Win this Mustang. A unique car. Go for it. It'll help these guys. Yeah. Here's that story. Thank you so much, Jerry. You know what? Uh, when I first started coming to, when I first came to Pivot 16 years ago, this was the banjo guitar player at the church. And uh, they were telling me, Ch yeah, Chuck. Joe Chuck. Joe yeah. tells me Chuck. <laughs> so, uh, you know, him and his little grass band, man, they would just light up the fellowship hall. It just kind of drew me and we've been friends ever since. So FCC, thank you so much for all the support from the picnics to the rally days to the opportunity to come and fix the word to the grill meister himself who comes to pivot and grill and takes care of our hungry bellies. So thank you all so much. And just to echo Jerry and Chuck, you call them however you want to. <laughs> for the car enthusiasts, it's a great car. You've had it checked out. It would support us in a great way. Thank you all so much. God bless. So, Eternal God, we uh, thank you for your holy presence. Oh, man, were you rich and alive in our lives in this moment. Uh, Lord God, we just pray now that you sustain us. You are the sustainer. Uh, make room in our hearts, Lord God, to carry you beyond Sunday. That we carry you into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That our light shine before men, that they see our works, but they glorify you, O oh God. The word declares, when a man is blessed, so is his household. May this joy overflow in every household that's represented here this morning. May their kids and their spouses and even the neighbors wonder, what is that going on? And then you give us boldness to speak the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, uh, we bless the food that's been prepared. May it be nourishing to our bodies. Grant us grace to receive it. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 A couple of logistics. Uh, I know you all think this has been worship. The central <laughs> act of Christian worship is actually table fellowship. And that is next. So please go in through the Welcome Center, through Lund Hall. Uh, food is out on the West Lane lawn. Fun is going to be there as well. Uh, we do have a prayer partner today, and that is Holly Bergeron. She's, Holly, you want to stand up so folks can see you wearing red? Uh, she'll meet you just inside the Welcome Center uh, if you wish to have prayer. Also, uh, Linda needs more uh, volunteers to do some of the activities, so if that is on your heart, please see Linda, and she can hook you up with an activity for the kids. Uh, and then, uh, what else? There is something else. Activities start at noon. So uh, with that, let us all go in and have table fellowship and continue our worship until it leads to service. Amen. Amen.